The war between Israel and Hamas was effectively started with a hostage crisis. We know that the October 7th hostage takings were planned. And that's fairly typical with armed organizations around the world. Hostage taking is not a crime of opportunity. It is something that armed groups plan and strategize to do. One element of the October 7th attacks that was particularly surprising is the fact that Hamas has kidnapped so many vulnerable individuals, children, babies, elderly senior citizens. And so given that hostage takers really have to work to keep their hostages alive over time, taking so many vulnerable hostages is quite surprising. Another fact that is quite different from most hostage takings is the sheer number and variety of perpetrators. Hamas is, we believe, holding the majority of the hostages, but another Palestinian militant group known as Palestinian Islamic Jihad is also holding some hostages. On the other side of the equation, the hostages come from lots of different countries all over the world. And so not only their families, but also their many different governments are all concerned with their various hostage recovery policies in trying to negotiate to bring their own citizens home.